Hi, my name is Zach Fisher and welcome to another Tech Talk. Today I'm going to do a very quick one on Windows Server versus a NAS device. When to do each of those and why. When you think about a Windows Server to give a client NAS shares, it's kind of like a Swiss Army knife in the fact that it can be used for giving uh, users NAS shares, it can be used for running applications, it can be used for all, all different types of things. Whereas if you have a dedicated NAS device, all it does is give NAS shares to users and it does that at a much more efficient way. Um, so, why would you use a Windows Server versus a NAS device? Well, one reason is that it is flexible. So um, if you all you have is a Windows Server um, or a, a VMware environment with block storage, you may want to install a Windows Server and get the NAS shares to your clients that way. And that's going to give you um, an, an easy way to quickly get, get NAS shares to your clients. So what a Windows Server with um, using your Windows Server to get NAS to clients, it would kind of look like this. You have your clients. Um, and you have your... Windows Server, and your Windows Server can either be a VM or a physical Windows Server. However, I would recommend always using a VM due to its flexibility and efficiencies. And I've got a video on why virtualization is more efficient. Um, but you've got your Windows Server here, and then it either has direct attached storage, which is in the in the actual server, or more likely it has some sort of external storage. So if you're if you're in a hyperconverged environment, it probably is internal storage. It is internal storage. Or if you're in a more traditional model and you have block storage, that's kind of how it. So this is going to be easier to do because in a, in a very small environment where you don't have, you don't really want to have a dedicated NAS device. However, um, there are possibly some drawbacks. Uh, one of them being you typically patch Windows servers about every month. So patching, very frequently is something that is going to take effort. The other piece is that um, then if you want to grow this extremely large, you may run into scalability issues um, because the Windows server isn't dedicated and, and meant to scale into a, a massive NAS, global NAS data store. So scalability, especially in, in, in places that need like a global namespace, something along those lines, that can get complicated and start to cost a lot of overhead. So um, scalability is the other issue. But if you're looking at essentially a, a very, very small location that you're looking to possibly put hyperconverged infrastructure in, using a Windows Server could be an effective method to present NAS shares. Um, or you could use a NAS software um, in that situation as well. Uh, but 
the standard in enterprises, if you're looking at anything large, say larger than, I would say larger than 15 terabytes is to use an actual NAS device because of the ability to scale, um, because it's, it's purpose built to serve NAS, whereas a Windows server can also serve, um, do a lot of other things like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. So over here, we've got your Windows server, and over here we have NAS, and NAS, it's gonna look like this. You have your clients, it could be, your clients could be individual PCs or they could be servers. And they're going to connect to your NAS. And this is going to be much easier to manage at large scale. And it's going to require less patching However, you do have to have a dedicated NAS device, and that's the biggest drawback to, um, to doing it this way. So it, it may make things more complicated in an extremely small site scenario, um, but it's definitely the standard for large, large companies is to have a dedicated NAS device. Or even if in your home, um, network. If you want a small NAS device, um, you may want to consider having a dedicated um, NAS device versus a Windows server just serving up NAS because it's going to be much easier to manage. It's purpose built to just do one thing and ser that's serve you NAS. So it's going to give you more reliability and less, um, less pain in the ass. And same thing at the enterprise level. Um, having a dedicated NAS device, it's just gonna be easier. There's not as much um, overhead. So I hope this helped you understand the Windows, Windows server serving up NAS. It's, it's an okay option, especially if you're, um, you have a small environment. It's kind of like a Swiss Army knife. Whereas a dedicated NAS server is a more specialized tool like and a saw. And if you have any kind of true scale, it's recommended that you use, um, you use a dedicated enterprise NAS device. I hope this helps people. And please be sure to like and subscribe and comment with any additional things that I missed or any questions. Thanks, guys.